This is a Baker's Pacers that I restored for a customer. I've done several YouTube videos on Pacers races and this video will concentrate mostly on the differences between the Pacers races and this Baker's Pacers. And at 20 to 1, Beetlebaum. Now the horses are approaching the starting gate and uh, there they go! The headboard differs from Pace's in that the odds wheel, you can only see one little sliver here showing through this open window, and then you have light bulbs instead of flags that raise to tell you which horse is won. Here number two is lit up, he won last time. And then in addition, when your horse wins, the amount of payout will briefly light up here 2, 4, 8, 12, or 30 to confirm the odds wheel. This game has a few special features. There's a mystery score. Right now the odds wheel is sitting with the mystery symbol on horse number four. So if number four to, was to win you don't know what you're going to get 2, 4, 8, 12, or 30 until after the horse comes in and wins. While the game is in progress and while new odds are being picked, you'll see these lights randomly flash telling you it's selecting one of the payouts for the mystery pay. And then if that horse comes in, then the light will light up to tell you what you've won. All the other horses are plainly marked in what they're going to pay. As I increment a wiper disc inside, you can see it step through the different sequences of payouts showing you the different number of coins it would pay and also mystery or daily double. Around the first turn, Stu Chan is still in front. Cabbage is second by a head. Cabbage by a head! Beautiful Linda is third and a beetle bomb. The jackpot feature on this game occurs when you have a mystery symbol that appears, in this case for horse number three, and if horse number three wins, when the daily double is lit up, that will give you a payout of 30 coins plus a gold award token. Those tokens are here in a facade or fake jackpot window that's just mounted to the cabinet, but the real jackpot mechanism is inside, which I'll show you in a moment. To open the game up, you take the key and put the notch downward. Put the key in the cabinet and turn it. And then the bottom lifts out first, support the door, and it comes right out. There's a groove in the top, but there's nothing holding the bottom except the lock itself. Inside the cabinet where the money bag is there's the real jackpot which holds five of the gold award tokens. If you hit the mystery and the daily double in addition to getting all of the coin slides which pays you 30 nickels you will also energize this solenoid and dispense one gold token. They're serial numbered and say their value on them. To remove the lid of the machine you have to remove both of the end panels and then on each side there's a lever that and push upwards and then go to the other end and do the same thing on the other side. Once you have the four levers flipped upwards, watch this lever here 
as you lift up so you can clear this. Grab on both sides and lift straight up. With the lid off, both of the side panels can be removed by simply tipping them outwards and lifting straight out. Banana is coming up through the bunch. Banana coming up through the bunch! And Beetle Bomb. Just like in Pace's races, when the winning horse comes in and pushes on its corresponding rod, you'll open up a vacuum valve down below that will give you your payout. But on Baker's, on this machine, in addition, you close an electrical contact which lights up the light bulb to tell you which horse won. So here the electrical contact gets closed. And then in addition, there are electrical contacts connected to each of the fingers when this raises to give you the proper odds payout. You're also closing an electrical contact that are on top of each one of those when odds this fingers. finger attached to horse number seven passes by this bar, in addition to opening up this vacuum port here, which spins the odd disc, just like in paces. In addition, you have an electrical contact here. And closing this contact will cause this contact disc to rotate and increment. As long as I hold it closed, it will rotate. Each one of these contacts, as the wiper sweeps past it, lights up one of the mystery scores. You can see that it's some type of mystery payout is available, but it sweeps past it and it stops when it's not in contact with any of it, so you don't know what the payout's going to be. The one exception to that is if I stop right there, you can see that I am contacting both here and down here. And that is for the daily double, which if you win, you get the jackpot and gold award token. Here's a view of that contact wiper disc working from the back side. These are the light bulbs for horses 1 to 7, and as each horse comes in, lights up winning horse. On the bakers, just like in the paces races, when the winning horse comes in, one of these seven bellows will pull in, and it'll go through the mechanical assembly here in order to translate the winning horse into the proper odds. I'm activating the bellows on the end and it pushes up on its corresponding bar which is pushing directly on this finger which is part of the odds disc that spins and that finger goes over and lifts up this air port right here and that little opening pulls a vacuum on the proper payout for two coins over in the coin slides. Now in addition to raising that, there are contacts on top of each one of these ports for the coin slides so it lights up the light and tells you how many coins it's going to pay out. The bellows that's closest to this side is for horse number seven. And you can see on the odds disc that horse number seven is paying two to one, and if I collapse the bellows for horse number seven, this first light lights up, which is paying two to one. Horse number six is the next bellows over, it's paying four to one, so that's two, four, 
8, 12, and 30. It matches all of these. Horse number 2, which is just outside of the screen, you can't see down here, it's the mystery. And horse number 2 being a mystery, if I collapse that bellows, it lights up this one here. And there's your mystery symbol if horse number two would have won. Here's the coin registration mechanism to tell what horses you've bet on. Each one of these fingers will fall inwards towards the coin that you've bet and determine whether or not it is there in place whether you've bet on that horse. So here I've bet on all the rest of the horses and you'll see the coins drop into place. It knows that all seven horses were bet on. The game has lots of nice castings on it, including this one, which has an ashtray. And the ashtray is held captive by two tangs and comes in and out here in this notch. So if I slide this in and drop this notch through, then I can rotate it and lock it in place so it can't come out. And there goes the winner! My customer asked me to build a side panel with a glass window in it so you could watch the mechanism play. The original side panel has been refinished and can be put back on at any time. And this side panel will go on either side of the machine so you can choose where you like to see it best. I also added interior lighting. Number 44 lamps which is correct to this machine's vintage. Helps light up the inside so you can watch it. The coin return cup is empty and I've set up the game so that horse number three is far out in front. He's gonna win. Horse number three is mystery horse, mystery payout. Daily Double is lit, so I'll get the mystery. This will cause the jackpot. Let me plug in the motor here and complete the game. I get the big win and a bell rings. Come over here. Have my big payout. And got me a five dollar coin. For more information, visit gameroomrepair.com.